Jelly Roll, I'm not okay on B105. It is a breakfast club with Ken and Lauren. And the B105 Buzz brought to you by East Central Energy, member owned, homegrown, community focused since 1936. Heads up. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be that guy, but uh, we have less than a week. We're going to have sunset in Duluth at 4.48 p.m. Yep, daylight saving time is coming to an end, and that is going to be on November 3rd. And that uh, evening, it's going to be uh, 4.48 p.m. sunset. So just brace yourself for that. The good news is is we get one day of an extra hour of sleeping in. Or sleep, you know, because we fall back, you know, then you spring forward. But uh, it's going to be getting dark a lot earlier. So check that out, um, b105country.com, and just set a reminder for yourself. And then also we have a concert announcement at 7.20 this morning. Another country artist coming to the Northland. We'll have details for you at 7.20. So stick around all morning long here at B105. We've got a lot of fun stuff going on here on your Monday. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren, you know, it's the Breakfast Club. We've got uh, one way to start your week, and that's the 710 Lamp file. Yep. So you won. Well, we tied last week, but you won last time that we did this on Thursday because that was off Friday. So you get to decide. All right. Uh, you go first. Okay. Ken, how do you repair a jack-o'-lantern? The pumpkin patch. Remember that one from last year? Okay. Well, that's a little surprising. We did our... Whoa, Miss Salty over here. It is surprising that you would remember a joke from last year. Okay. I thought he had to just be poking fun of me remembering things. Lauren, how do sailors get their clothes clean? So they throw them overboard and then they wash ashore. That was good. A oh, good maritime joke. Yeah. Oh. I know you love maritime jokes. Ken, what do you call a woman with a frog on her head? Lily. It's like a lily pad? Yeah. Right. I just had to make sure I got that. Yeah, thank you. Lauren, my girlfriend broke up with me after becoming an astronaut. I asked her why, and she said, well, I just need some space. Classic space joke. It's a good astronaut joke. Yeah. Ken, what is a tree's favorite song in the fall? Don't stop believing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't going to sing it, but then I felt like the only way Don't to really stop make you. Believe in. <laughs> yeah, that, okay. Woo, that was too much on a Monday. But congratulations to me. Well, there you go. Congratulations <laughs> to yourself, Lauren. Congratulations. 710 laugh off. It's 711. Uh, we got your brain teaser question coming up next and. Concert announcement. A concert announcement. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Stay tuned. That's coming up at 720 here on B105. <laughs> B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren, and it is 7.20 on Monday morning. That means we can now tell you about the big concert announcement. Right, right on the dot. So we have Josh Turner coming to the Deck Symphony Hall, and this is going to be Thursday, January 16th of 2025. Josh Turner. He has the kind of voice that you want to see him in like an intimate setting. Do you know what I mean? Oh, really? Okay. I just mean like he's known for his voice. I know. Well. And he has like, you know... Well, he has some upbeat songs, but he has... Oh, he's got a lot of great ones. Yeah, yeah, so many. So thirty nine fifty. that's what tickets start at. They will go on sale this Friday, 10 a.m., and then there's a special pre-sale that starts on Halloween, and we have that pre-sale code for you, b105country.com, and our B105 app. So many country concerts. Lots going on. So little time. Josh Turner coming to Duluth, so mm-hmm. wow, very cool. Well, thank you, Lauren. Let's switch gears right now and get back into uh, the regular flow with the brain teaser question at this yep. time. Uh, I'll go ahead with the question. <laughs> okay. 11% of people say they are doing a dual costume with this person. <laughs> like a partner costume thing? Yep. Okay. Only 11%. Not a lot. 11% of people say they are doing a dual custom or costume with this person. I mean, oh, never mind. Nothing. Okay. Ignore me. I I was going to give it away, but... That's fine. Uh, 727-B105. 11% of people are picking somebody, also somebody from here to do this dual costume with. You know, there's different ways around it, but uh, they're doing a dual costume with this person. Yep. Okay. (laughs) 727-B105. You can win the brain teaser question. What's the prize today? So we have Papa Murphy's, and then how about a four-pack of tickets to the Terra and the Depot party? Oh, Wednesday night. going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Hit us up. You can win. 727-B105. Would you... 
B105 Breakfast Club. Ken and Lauren, here we go. Your brain gets your question for your Monday morning. Okay, 11% of people say they're doing a dual costume with this person. Who is it? Hmm, interesting. Well, let's just start taking some guesses. Yeah, let's do it. Dual costume with who? Yep. Hi, B105, what's your guess? Is it their best friend? Not their best friend. I mean, technically, it, it could be their best friend, but that's not where we're going with mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, try again. Yep, thanks. Hi, what's your guess? Is it their partner? Um, not their partner. Nope. Thanks for calling. Okay. Hi, what's your guess? Is it their partner? Not their partner. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Yep. Hi, what's your guess? Coworker. Coworker. There you go. You got it. Yeah. Um, we must be good friends with their coworker to dress up together, right? See, Ken, I asked if you wanted to do like a dual costume with me, but you weren't sure. I don't have a Chucky onesie. So. Well, we could have gone and got a costume together, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Who's this? Justin Geller. Hey, congratulations. Uh, we've got you some Papa Murphy's, and also we got some tickets for you to come to Terra in the Depot um, this weekend. Or this week, I'm sorry. <laughs> cool, thank you. Yeah, Terra Depot is going on Wednesday, and we've got... To, it's going to be a great time. Yeah, it's um, going to be really fun. Yeah, live music, food. Mm-hmm. Lauren's going to be cutting uh, cutting up the dance floor, cutting right. the rugs. Is it? Yeah. It's going to be a heartache on the dance floor. I yeah. always am. With so. a Chucky onesie. Mm-hmm. Did you find it yet? No, I haven't found it, but I did get another costume this weekend because I felt bullied into it, and then it didn't even fit. But you can't even return it, so I just I don't even want to talk about it. But nonetheless... I um, I might be wearing the Chucky onesie, might be wearing this new costume I got. It doesn't fit? No. Too big or what? It's like way too small. Way too small? Yeah. What is it? It's so uncomfortable. Well, I'm not going to say because what if I wear it? <laughs> then you'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> okay, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Now I'm excited uh, to see what's going on here. Something new from Lauren. Mm-hmm. It'd be great. You know, the Chucky Maybe. Okay, well. I want to be comfortable, you know. <laughs> All right. 727 B105 weather forecast up next. Okay, Parker McCollum tickets. They're a final pair, right? Yeah, final pair for now. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, for now. Well. She's got something hidden up her sleeve. Would what? I do that? Yes. Totally. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you saw the app uh, alert. Yep. Got a call in to win. Uh huh. Well, let's see what we got here. Hello, B105. Who's this? Stephanie. Stephanie, congratulations. You are caller 15. You got tickets to Parker McCollum. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hang on a second, okay? Well, do you. All right. Congratulations. There you go. And make sure you have the B105 app. You never know what we're going to spring on you. You really don't. Yeah. It's uh, it, it, And it's helpful. It is. Lots of information. You learn a there. lot of stuff. You know, lots of concerts coming. You want to be in the know? Uh-huh. Lauren's got it all laid out for you there. I sure do. And speaking of which, do you have time for Lauren's Country Lowdown? I think so. You can squeak one you in. You can get it. This. You can do it. Coming up next. I just need to know. All right, here we go. So, busy morning. We just gave away our last pair of Parker McCollum tickets. But before that, Josh Turner announced that he's coming to Duluth. So, he'll be at the Deck Symphony Hall Thursday, January 16th with opener Will Jones. Tickets go on sale this Friday, and then there's a special pre-sale. We have a code for you. Just go to our concert calendar on our website and our app, and you can get tickets on Halloween from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. with a special pre-sale code. There you go, Josh Turner. It's very brave to come here in January. Uh, it's going to be an indoor show. It'll True. Okay. Should True. be okay. <laughs> Remember Luke Holmes' show, like, I don't know, five or six years ago, and it was a blizzard. Yeah, I couldn't make it. I risked my life. It, it took me literally dangerous. two hours to get from my house to um, Amsoil. Yeah. Scary. That was the year I had a string of bad luck where... Um, <laughs> you really did. I you had went strep throat when Dirk's Bentley came, so I couldn't make it to that. I had influenza when another... I mean, I was just sick with... Every, this was right before COVID, too. I was yeah. like, I was hit with every illness there was. Yeah. But Andy then I broke the show. curse with Garth Brooks. You did. You went to Garth Brooks. But the night before Garth Brooks, one of our kids got violently ill. It was like, like, I can't believe this. Turn a blind eye. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Bad parenting advice. So this weekend, we had Luke Holmes and Eric Church's concert for Carolina. And now we know some stats, how much money was raised. A lot of things happened. I can't go through it all, but we have everything. B105country.com. But the concert was six hours because Mm. Keith Urban showed up. Bailey Zimmerman was there. Cheryl Crow showed up and sang with Eric Church. Like, it was just a packed house. 
82,193 people attended, and they raised $25 million. Wow. $25 million, which is crazy. I mean, none of the artists obviously made any money. There was a lot of sponsors that Eric and Luke Combs and their teams uh, found to help kind of underwrite the cost. And $25 million, that's crazy. That's Six gonna go, hour show. That's going to go so far um, to helping the victims of Hurricane um, Helene. Dolly Parton, she made a big impact. Um, she announced that she was donating a million dollars on top of. And she just um, throws money out. Yeah, on top of she already donated $2 million for that. Um, the stadium team also footed the bill for parking, workers' wages, and taxes during the event. So um, everybody got paid, but the stadium actually covered that. So more money could benefit um, the victims of Hurricane Helene. And you could also purchase the live stream so you could watch it that way, 25 bucks. Um, so, yeah, there was just a lot of different things that went into it. Very inspiring. So read about it, E105Country.com. And then um, coming up, 820, don't forget, another Jelly Roll code. Was that for me or was that for everybody else? I think it was just um, for everybody else, but I guess it could relate there's to you so as well. There's so much going on. I know there's so much and on like a Monday, like with the concert announcement. I, I was know. like sweating, trying to like get it up and get it everywhere and post it. And, <sighs> you doing okay now? Yeah, you're doing, good. You're doing great. I'm just going to do a hot lap. I'll be good. All right. Jason Aldean and Carrie Underwood. Jason Aldean, Carrie Underwood, if I didn't love you on B105, 754. We got your weather forecast coming up next. Also, that jelly roll code coming up at 820. Mm-hmm. We're going we're to blow out some more tear on the depot tickets too coming up. Yeah, we have a lot to give away. You know, I'll just do it right now. Oh, okay. Why not? All right. Tear in the Depot is coming up this Wednesday. It's at the Depot. Yeah. That's in the name. Uh, Lake Spear Railroad Museum, which is actually haunted. Yeah. There's spooky stuff that happens I'm going to repost, like, the photo that Ken Bueller shared with me of yeah, that's weird. A, a girl ghost that was spotted there. Yeah, that was really weird. But anyway, um, it's going on this Wednesday. You can get tickets right now on the B105 website um, or DuluthTrains.com. It's 20 bucks ahead of time, $25 at the door, but we're going to give away... You want to give away a four-pack right now? Yep, let's do it. Okay, 727-B105, caller 5, gets a four-pack of tickets. It's a fun Halloween pregame, too. Yeah, right. It's Wednesday. It's the day before Halloween, so mm-hmm. we're not going to disrupt your Halloween plans, but you can go out and try your costume. And there's also cash prizes for the costume, $500 for first place. Love it. You make some money. Okay, well, let's blow them out right now. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll give them a four-pack away. 727-B105. Old Dominion Hotel Key on B105. It's Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren today. Sunshine, a high of 63. So... The other day, I was driving over on 4th Street downtown, yep. and I was right by, uh, well, I was coming down, well, I was coming on 9th, or not 9th, what's that? What's this? 6th? Anyway, 6th Avenue, yeah. So I was coming away, and I, and I went by the old St. Mary's. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I turned the corner, I'm like, what's going, what happened to the building? I forgot that they've been tearing that down. Oh. And they had, like, this huge, like, lift up there, and guys were knocking the, the smokestack down one Ooh. piece by a time. You haven't been over by 4th Street there. It's crazy. It doesn't look like the same place. I feel like I'm not, I'm ever paying attention to that kind of thing when I'm driving. Well, you don't really go that way anymore, do you? No. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of really... a cluster to go that way. Well, with all the construction yeah. and everything, everywhere, yeah. It takes a long time. Yeah, but anyway, if you haven't been in that area, it's crazy when you when you roll through there. I took so I snapped some photos, and I was going to share them with you, or I was going to share them, but... Um, you know, because the new Ascension buildings there, and they're taking down the old one, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I just pulled up my photos, too. Um, we said we were going to do pumpkins, remember? Oh, yeah, and I did take pictures of my pumpkin. Look Let at all the see. look at the, all the ones that I did. I did all those oh, myself. Oh, those look good. Yeah. Those look really good. Can you believe I did them all by myself? Yeah. Why did you do them all by yourself? You really believe I did those? Well, I don't know. You said you were going to, but look then at- where are your families? I didn't do. I didn't even do one. Oh, <laughs> but I was okay. gonna pass these off as mine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um. I did one. Aaron did one, and his turned out good. But I think like squirrels are eating it oh, now, squirrels. which like I'm not gonna be mad at them because they're cute. But I'm like, can you wait till like November first? <laughs> I don't <laughs> you, know. You were supposed to do a spray of WD forty on them. Remember? Yeah, you said something but about that. But then you that. can't use a real candle to start on fire. Yeah, we didn't use a real candle. Just for like a photo op, we lit it up inside. But now. Well, isn't that cute? No more. I know. Yeah, we were going to do a contest, but then I just, I had too much stuff going on um, this weekend. Put a, we we, uh, we got a shed from Menards and put that together. Wow, fancy. That's why Did you were at Menards. Yard, I was at Menards so many times. And I was at the dump. Final, final trip to the uh, um, Superior Landfill. That's what you think. 
Uh, it is because they're closing to the public. Oh, okay. So then it actually is. November 1st, it okay. was a flash free landfill day. So I got to, we got to take it in. We soaked in the last experience on top of the pile of trash. It was Very great. romantic. <laughs> yeah. Took a couple pictures, you know, to commemorate the moment. So, you know, it was a busy weekend. Lots <laughs> I guess of stuff so. going on. Yeah. Very productive for you. Well, th- yeah. It, f- it felt good to get done. And now I'm just dragging this morning. But hey, I know what's going to make us, uh, kick us up is the jelly roll code coming up here in just mm-hmm. a couple minutes, 820. Okay. Okay. Have your phone ready. Enter that code in and the B105 app, and we'll have that for you in just minutes on The Breakfast Club. Luke Combs, where the wild things are on B105, the Northland's number one for new country. And Jelly Roll, we got a code for you to fly away and see him in Jacksonville, Florida. Yep, type 589 into our app. That's your first code today. Yep. Next one will be at 1020. 589. 589 on the B105 app to see Jelly Roll. Sam Hunt outskirts on B105. It's Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. As a personal story today for some jerk. Oh, okay. I I don't know what it is. I don't know. I can't tell you how many times I'm flipped off when I'm driving. Uh-huh. By people wow. that are uh, even in, not road rage, just people will drive, walk. Okay. So it happened downtown here a while back last, so actually last summer. I remember it. I don't know why I take it personally, but I, I was at a stoplight right here on, what is this? Third Avenue West. I was right here and a guy walked across and he looked at me and just flipped me the bird. No wow. reason at all. I was sitting there and I'm like, what did That's I do? That's jarring. I would cry. What did I do? Yesterday I was driving. Was it yesterday? Yeah. No, it was Saturday. One of my many trips to Menards. It was Saturday. There's a guy riding a bike and he came up to the intersection. Now, am I wrong? But bicyclists are supposed to obey stop signs, right? Uh huh. Aren't they? Yeah, you have like a you and bikers though on the road. I feel like there's been some close calls in the past. I don't know about that. I don't remember any. Of that. Oh, yeah, one kid that one time. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. He came out of the bushes. He even stopped. They just blow right through. <laughs> I, you gotta be careful. Yeah, they're, they're you coming, do. they just you dart do. out everywhere. But no, this guy. I, I just turned. I, I thought he was stopping, so I turned left, and then I guess I cut him off. But it wasn't even close. Right. And then I look at my mirror, and the guy's got it. He's flipping me off from a block away. I would cry. I would honestly. And I just look cry. at him, and I'm like, "What did I do?" It's so. Even though it's like not personal, obviously they just have road rage. Like it is so jarring when that happens, and I just want to go hide and cry. But then as I drove out, that well, number one, I bet he's having a bad day. Yeah. And number two, he didn't seem like a very happy person to begin with. Uh huh. Just looking at him. So I'm not going to take it personally. Yeah, that's but. the best thing to do. Just don't take it personally and, you know, just pretend you didn't see it. I remember that time you talked about that with a bike, though, that kid came like, there was like, it was like a blind intersection. And I'm showing up over by the YMCA in Superior and all of a sudden, boom, right in front of me. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, that's a fear I have. Locked it up. Mm-hmm. Spilled my Diet Mountain Dew from Quick Trip. That is a tragedy. I'm a big buddy. American Giant makes great clothing. T-shirts, jeans, and more right here in the U.S. Creating jobs in towns and cities across the country. Support America's workers and get 20% off your first order at American-Giant.com with code STAPLE20. Those those tops don't hold like they're supposed to. they got to be a little more aggressive, those those tops for the big buddies at Quick Trip. That's Should just my... Know. Send him a tweet. I don't know. I think I send him enough tweets. I give him enough attention. I you really do. <laughs> anyway, that was a personal story today, but nobody was heard except for my That's feelings. That's A little bit. Brian Martin, we ride on B105, Northland's number one for new country, and we've got some angel with our own angel, Lauren Wells. So our angel today is Eric Church. I was talking about him during Lauren's Country Lowdown. Yeah, that six-hour concert that happened. Yeah, so he and Luke Holmes and a bunch of other country artists, I mean, Nicole Kidman showed up to support Keith Urban, and she went on stage. It was a six-hour concert. They raised like $25 million, but there was so much that happened um, that I didn't even get to talk about this, but you know, Eric is from North Carolina, mm-hmm. and um, he has his Chief Cares Foundation, which gives back to a bunch of different organizations. Well, he announced on stage that he has launched a new initiative to help those affected by flooding get back in their homes. It's called a Blueprint for the Blue Ridge, and the plan will start with building 100 new homes for families in western North Carolina that were displaced by the storm. And he says he's also going to help uh, rebuild schools, support local businesses that have really taken a hit because their customers aren't even able to get back into their houses. So um, he says that's just the beginning. He says... I hope it's a lot of homes. It goes way beyond 100 homes, but that's what we're starting with, and then we're just going to move on from there. Yeah, it's amazing how much damage there was from that storm. Mm-hmm. That's just crazy. And then, you know, in that area, too, you don't really, doesn't really get hit like that. 
Right. Well, it's good. And a six-hour concert with all those people. Yeah. Did a lot for that. We're uh, North Carolina. Yeah. So, well, thank you, Eric Church, the chief, doing some good things. Mm-hmm. And thanks for sharing, Lauren. Oh, thanks. You're just as great. I would like to be. <laughs> I don't know if I'm on that. Yeah. B105 Northland's number one for new country. It's the Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. We're going to head out. Um, Joe Danger's coming in next. He's got mm-hmm. that Jelly Roll code coming up at 1020. He sure does. Yeah. Tomorrow, join us for Tuesday. Yeah. We'll have uh, Ken's Weird News. Ooh, any hint what we're talking about? You know, there's so much stuff going on. Mm-hmm. I got a real life ghost story I think I'm going to share. Oh, please do. Because it's Halloween, right? And anybody else that has one, let us know so we can get in touch. You can put it on Facebook. Yeah, okay. We'll talk about that. Love ghost it. stories. Let's do it. Spooky. Here for it. Right. 740 tomorrow here on B105.